Welcome back. In addition to Pride Month, June is also Men's Health Month. And we've got Sanford's Dr. Rory Ratzliff here to tell us all about it. Welcome. Good morning, Marlon. Thank you for having me. Appreciate Thanks for coming. It. Absolutely. So let's dive into it. Let's talk about men's health. Yeah. So Men's Health, uh, basically what it is, is Jude is um, uh, Men's Health Awareness Month. Basically, it's a way for uh, men to have a conversation with individuals. Basically, um, just have that conversation, normalize um, um, having that conversation um, to talk about men's health and increasing awareness for screenings that they need to get done. So how can I stay healthy? So it's important for individuals, specifically men, to establish care with a primary care provider. What that entails is making a phone call or looking at SanfordHealth.org, looking for a provider, uh, making that contact. Uh, when you do that during the initial encounter, what we'll do normally is we'll go through a physical, um, talking about high blood pressure, looking at screenings for diabetes, whether it's also uh, screenings for uh, cholesterol, um, and also if it's 45 years and older, we usually do some sort of screening for colorectal cancer as well. Okay, so what are some of the yearly uh, exams that I need to be aware of? So usually on a yearly basis, it, again, it, it varies on the age of the individual. Um, as starting at 45 years of age, uh, it used to be 50 for the colorectal cancer screening, now it's 45. Uh, just because you need to get a colorectal cancer screening doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna be getting a colonoscopy. There are other modalities to do, um, such as a Cologuard or something like that. You may have to get that done on a more regular basis, but on a yearly basis, um, usually getting your, your um, uh, getting checked for high blood pressure, getting checked for diabetes, cholesterol, um, getting your prostate examined, examined excuse me, uh, through a PSA, which is a blood test. Uh, we don't necessarily recommend getting a prostate exam anymore. That's right. been kind of outdated. So uh, what we do is we look at the numbers uh, from the blood test. Awesome, Dr. Rory. So let me ask you this. What is the primary attribute of having a primary care physician? Uh, I would say it's it's having somebody in your corner, um, somebody to advocate for you. Um, it's also uh, a way for somebody to, uh, to you can communicate with somebody in case if you need uh, specific things done to, from like a from like a specialty standpoint or from a subspecialty standpoint. Nice. Now I know there's stubborn spouses out there. So how does a stubborn spouse make their husband go and get a checkup? So I've actually had a lot of patients, Marlon, that come in that say that my significant other made this appointment, they want me to be here, I probably should be here. Um, that's one way of doing it. Also, um, showing solidarity and uh, camaraderie and showing a lot of support. I do get a lot of um, significant others that come in with their spouses. Um, that's a good way to show support. Just making the appointment for them too is also a good way of doing it. Awesome, awesome. So how can we get in contact with you? Yeah, so the best way of doing that is looking at uh, www.sanfordhealth.org or calling 701-234-4445. Awesome. So with those blood tests, is it a comprehensive look? Like you said, cholesterol, diabetes. So once you get those results, what is that plan of action? So it does depend on the results. It depends mm -hmm. on what the results are. Um, usually we'll either give a phone call. Uh, Sanford has the MyChart app that we are very... Um, uh, uh, adaptive to, to using. Um, it's a good way for us to communicate with patients, get the results to them, come up with a plan of care um, at that time as well. Perfect. Dr. Rory, thank you so much for stopping by and then letting us know about men's health and how to get connected. Thank you, Marlon. Appreciate thank your you. time. Yep. Coming up next, we will be talking the first Lutheran's outdoor concert series coming up here on North Dakota Today.